Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I drew this compass years ago, and I was helping somebody with a map, and this one came up, and it looks pretty cool, so I thought I'd draw it, and this would be super simple. I would start out with the polygon tool, make your polygon three-sided, and just make it a really sharp triangle like that. I'm going to hit P, put it in the center of the page, and there's a reason for that. Let me move this whole thing down a little bit so we can keep both of them in the screen. I'm going to take my shape tool. Well, there's already a node right there. And I'm going to nudge it up. Let me see what my nudge distance is. 0.25. This thing is... Yeah, 0.25 might even work. I'm going to grab the shape tool. And I'm going to click and I'm going to hit the right arrow. So I've got kind of that effect. Now, because I'm... Well, I don't like that right here, so I'm going to just delete them. And that's why there was a node there. So let's go here and add a node. And I'll actually take these nodes away. Well, that shouldn't really happen. You know what I need to do is probably go to a range and convert it to a curve. Then I can take away these nodes and I can move this one up just a quarter of an inch. Now I'm going to take a, there are several ways you could do this. I kind of like the way this, this, you can see how rough this is. I'm going to go up to effects and contour. I'm going to contour to the inside a quarter of an inch. Kind of get that effect of that wrap around. I'm going to take a two point line, whoop, freehand tool. Take the two-point line and draw, holding down the control button. And because I draw in the center of the page, now my line is right in the center. And one thing we need to really think about, we don't want to leave any hairlines when we're done. So we're going to virtually segment delete this part of the, well, always when you contour, you've got to break contour apart. Now we can delete this side. Let's delete that, and that, and that, and that, even though we don't have to, because we're going to use the Smart Fill tool with black. And we're going to fill that in. Now, how cool is that? That's pretty close to that. Let's go ahead, before we forget, let's left-click, no outline. Because if you make this really small, you don't want to ever have it to cut out. Now, the bottom one's basically the same. So we're going to control D, holding down the control button and get a little bit down. And then we're going to elongate this guy because the bottom one's a little bit longer. And it's actually reversed from the first one. So let's mirror it. Now what we need to do is just take a two-point line and go from, well, let's do this. Let's go from there. Make it really thick. Let's go with uh, eight points and black. You never really know what scale you're drawing in. A little bit thicker. Let's go 12 points. That looks good. Hit P, put it at the center of the page. And then we can cursor it down till it's no longer in the picture. It actually still is in the top, so let's take the shape tool and just shorten it. Because we don't want it in the picture. Now we've got a, uh, a drawing in the center. Very easily done. Take a circle, an ellipse. Kind of get it about the same size. It doesn't really matter because it's going to be yours. And there's a couple ways to get this effect. I would control D and make a duplicate of it. And then while holding down the shift button, make another circle inside of that. And then I would take a two point, and let's go, let's put this now, let's move our compass over using the nudge distance so we can put it back. And let's put our circles in the center. There's a good reason I draw in the center, and this is one of them. 
Sorry about that. Let's take a line and let's holding down the control button and then hit P and put it in the center. I need to kind of get back to my drawing to see what it looks like. So basically it's just two corners. So let's uh, take this line, control D and duplicate it and rotate it 45 degrees. Well, really 90 degrees. And basically you already have it. So let's think about this. We need to delete this line. And this line. And we can go ahead and we don't have to do it because we're going to color fill it. So let's do this. Let's take our smart fill tool. These are basically open, if I'm corrected. So let's go ahead and do it the correct way. Let's get our virtual segment delete key and delete that line that line, that line, and that line. Now take your Smart Fill tool, fill it in. Move it out of the way. Now your Smart Fill has no lines, so we're good to go. And it's a solid object, so we can nudge this whole thing back. And what we could actually do is group it together, control G and hit P, put it in the center of the page. Hit our new object and hit P, center of the page. Voila. That looks pretty good. I would maybe move it up just a hair, kind of get it more in the center. And then just take the letter N and put it up top, make it a nice looking N. I'm not going to take the your time to do that but just kind of make it proportionate and there you go hope that helped a little bit thank you for watching